Rizzo Pyromaniacs. Pyle stays is here. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. God, I hope, I hope that helps. I don't know. Last week, uh, during the video, we had some really heinous, uh, windage. And some of that is because, um, of the stupid, like, phone positioning. It's not a, uh, it's not an air vent clip, but it is a, uh, DVD player or CD player clip. And because of that, uh, because of that, um, you get some wind. So, uh, I tried to cut it out last week. It was a little funky. Uh, I think there's one other thing I can do. Hang on. I set this to a driver priority and I should cut this. Why are you weeping? Oh. All right, so driver priority is on, which usually means it doesn't blow over there. All right, we'll turn it down a bit because it's not too, it's not too hot in here at the moment. So hopefully that will keep the, the death away. Um, and I, unfortunately I can't tell until I put it on YouTube and try it and then we'll, we'll see. So if there's a, if there's some really bad, uh, wind again, I'm sorry. I'll uh, try and get fixed for next time. So, um, so let's, let's give you guys an update. Uh, I do want to apologize for the lack of content the past uh, week or so. Um, usually, I mean, YouTube has been kind of dead recently regardless. And I know some of you guys are pissy about that, but I at least made a video about why. Uh, but usually I was keeping up the streams. This last like week, I just, or not week, but last four days or so, I, the streams have been gone. And uh, reasoning behind that is I've been working pretty much 10 hour days. And 10 hour days in the Texas heat is not something you just kind of <laughs> get back up and walk away from. It's, uh, it's tough. So, uh, I stream when I can, when I have the time, and when I have the energy for it. And when I'm working a 10 hour day, I pretty much don't have it. So for the next couple months anyways, I'm probably going to have to work 10 hour days uh, just because uh, I've got some pretty big expenses coming up. And uh, I can't go into a whole lot of detail on those yet. Uh, some of you guys know that Timmy's coming down, so that's a lot of it. Plus I've got school coming up again and a few other things. So. Uh, I need to make some buku bucks, and uh, at 15 bucks an hour on average at Domino's, that requires a pretty long time. So I'm trying out Uber. Uh, for those of you guys who are aware, Uber and Lyft are two different ride-sharing apps. Um, there's uh, a couple different things about them, though. Uh, they are not, uh, at least for Uber, Uber also has a delivery service called Uber Eats. Now, I'm, I'm still kind of on the edge about whether or not I want somebody sitting behind me, uh, but when it comes to uh, the delivery service, I have no problems with that. Uh, I actually kind of enjoy it for the most part, other than the fact that uh, I'd say there's about a 90% no tipping uh, thing in that, which is fucking bullshit. Because uh, you make about four bucks a delivery on average. And uh, if you're quick, you can do about three of them an hour. Maybe three and a half. And what I mean by three and a half is uh, you're at 44 minutes, you've done three, and now you got uh, enough time to get one more order, but you're not going to complete it in that hour, so it's going to kind of bleed over. So I'd say about 3.5, which puts you somewhere in the neighborhood of, depending on your deliveries, somewhere between 12 bucks an hour and 16 to 18 an hour, depending. Now, if you get a nice one like I did the other day, which was 20 minutes, and you had to drive a far distance, uh, it was, I think, 10 bucks. No, 909. Um, that's nice. You know, that'll spike your hourly. And you know, if somebody actually does give you a cash tip, then rock and roll. That's going to help too. Uh, I got one cash tip last week. It was five bucks, which was fucking awesome. That it was, uh, that it was a hero. Um, and I think that was out of 12 deliveries. I haven't really done Uber or hardcore. Uh, hang on, real quick, pulling up to the bank. All right, we are back. Sorry about that. So anyways, as I was saying, um, conservatively, you're going to make somewhere between $12 and $20 an hour. Now, obviously $12, for some of you, that's going to be good. For, for me, that's a little on the low end. Uh, $20, that's much better. Uh, but $20 is not obviously consistent, at least not in my market. Now, the other issue is I live in a suburb. So uh, I live in a suburb of Dallas. So I'm up... Uh, I'm up north of Dallas, and some of the areas up here don't get a whole lot of Uber 
bootstrap it. Now, one of the nice things is they've started doing uh, surge pricing in the college town that's a little north of me. So I may go try that on the weekends because um, that's that's pulling like 1.3, 1.4, which isn't much. But you know, for every 10 bucks you earn, you're gonna earn an extra three dollars, and that starts to add up. You know, you do that times three, that's an extra nine dollars. It starts to boost your hourly pretty significantly. So I haven't tried it for longer than an hour so far. So I'm probably gonna try tomorrow, which is Thursday, which may be when this video goes up. I'm gonna try and do it for a study, uh, like four to six hours. I may try even as much as eight, depending on how it is. Uh, I think there's like a 5X or 1.4 um, surge during that time. So I'll drive out there, give it a shot, and see how we do. And I'll get back to you guys and let you know. So um, if any of you guys are interested in driving for Uber, doing Uber Eats or Lyft, uh, you're going to see some uh, affiliate links in the video description of this. Uh, those links do benefit me specifically if you uh, I think you have to if you sign up for one of the services and then you do I think for Uber it's 20 trips so that's either 20 deliveries or 20 uh, passengers you know, like I said I don't do the passengers I just do eats but if you, uh, if you use my code and sign up for either one of those um, and do 20 runs I get 200 bucks so that helps me out huge um, gives you an opportunity to make a little bit of money if you are interested and uh, you know if you have any questions or whatnot and I know the answer I'm more than happy to answer them so uh, but that's something that's there if you guys want to help out and try out this little Uber experiment with me I'd love to see how you guys do in your markets so I, I will be kind of updating and letting you guys know uh, what's going on but uh, I'm looking forward really big time to when the tipping comes into the app because right now there's no in-app tipping which means people have to have cash and if you're like me you don't have cash very often, or at least I didn't have cash until I got uh, the Domino's job. Once I got the Domino's job, I started carrying cash a little bit more because I got it in tips. But you know, if you're uh, a standard white collar person, or you, know, you just hang out on the internet all the day, all the time, like I do, you may not carry cash because we just don't use it that much, and that makes it almost impossible to tip. With in-app tipping, I think at least for Uber Eats, that's going to help because right now I'm at like a five percent to ten percent tipping rate. I'm hoping that boosts us up to like 30% because, you know, when I do my deliveries for Domino's, I'm at about a 95% tipping rate. So I think once people see that there's the option of tipping, they'll realize, oh, okay, the driver's not compensated and I should probably help out. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, tipping in app will be coming in by the end of July. They may roll it out to some markets before then. I know it's in uh, Houston, I want to say Minnesota somewhere, and I don't know, a couple other places. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure exactly, so I'm hoping that will help. We'll see. Uh, but I do want to tell you guys some of the some of the stories this week. Uh, so, like I said, it's 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 a billion fucking degrees here. I mean, hotter than Satan's asshole. It's it's like 110 degrees uh, around two o'clock in the afternoon. That's how it feels. It's actually only about 95, 90, 99 degrees. But uh, the heat index, which I don't really understand. One of you science wizards can probably tell me what a heat index actually is, but that, that's how hot it feels. So, when you're a fat dude like me and you're going up three flights of stairs, feeling like 110, even if it isn't, um, is kind of crazy. So, uh, my, my horror story for this week, oh my god, like, I'm usually pretty cool. Like, I can usually handle when a customer's being a dick, and it doesn't upset me. It doesn't... It doesn't push me, you know? I'm like, all right, whatever, you're a dumbass, it's fine. This lady, like, holy shit. So, uh, we, we get busy during lunch. We have, we have like lunch rush, and then we have dinner rush. And lunch rush, uh, for us is around 12.30. Well, this, this lady got in right in the middle of lunch rush, but it was during a pocket of like, um, of kind of like a slowdown, not really. It was just like we were, basically we had just enough pizzas for just enough drivers. So I slide in and I get a double, and she's the first of my double. And for those of you guys who don't know, now different pizza places are different. For my, at my pizza place, Domino's, uh, it takes six minutes for the make line. From the time we receive your order to the time your food is done is usually six minutes. That's our goal. Uh, so anyways, from the time she ordered her food and completed her order, paid it, done, and it hit us, uh, I had it at her door in 12 minutes. How many of you sons of bitches get your pizza in 12 minutes? I'd, I'd like a show of hands in the comments section. The, the answer is probably very few. 
you know, most of you, if you get your pizza in 30 minutes, you're ecstatic. I got a tour in 12 minutes. I didn't just, I wasn't just quick. I performed a pizza fucking miracle for her, right? Now, this lady's name is Demetria. And, like, I already feel bad for her because it's obvious that her mom or dad wanted a, wanted a son because the name's Demetria. That's, like, Demetri or Demetrius or I don't know. But Demetria, <laughs> poor bastard, you know, she's, she's ugly as hell, which, you know, with a manly name is probably why she's so bitter with the world. And, you know, I, I walk up, hand her a pizza, I'm like, you know, got it to you in 12 minutes today. And uh, her order was sixteen twenty-five. Now you're gonna be like, well, I don't understand. How do you remember that order? You know, that's awfully specific. It's like, well, I'll kind of come into a, a little bit more clarity here in a second. So she, the, the, the order sixteen twenty-five. It's a cash order, which is kind of unusual. Most people pay credit card, but that's fine. No big deal. Uh, so I tell her how much it is. Tell her how fast I got it to her, and you know, she uh, is barely acknowledging my existence. And so she hands me twenty-one twenty-five. Well, in the pizza business. If somebody handed me 20 bucks, then they might want change. You know, if somebody hands you more money than is needed to pay the bill, then usually they intend to tip you. So when she handed me 21.25, my eyes got big because that's a $5 tip. I was like, wow, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And her response, oh no, I won't fall back. Now imagine, imagine this in the catch me outside girl's voice, okay? She's like, oh, I won't fall back. And then she follows that up with, I guess, the apparent look of surprise on my face with, it was gonna be five, but you was quick. Now, that kind of, to me, I interpret, now I've told this story to a couple of my coworkers. To me, I interpreted that as she originally was going to ask for $5 back, but because I was so quick, she was going to deem me worthy of $1 tip. The people at work seemed to think that she was going to tip me $5, but because I was fast, she was penalizing me and only giving me a dollar. I'll let you guys decide which one it is in the, uh, the comment section. I personally think she was just a bitter, evil bitch who uh, doesn't care that it's 110 degrees outside, that I performed for her an amazing pizza miracle, and she was ungrateful as hell and only tipped me a dollar. Now, don't get me wrong, I am appreciative of every tip that I get, you know, I understand that you do not have to tip. Although if no one tipped, no one would do pizza delivery because 4.25 an hour, you can go fuck yourself. Um, and there's a big group of people out there that doesn't like tipping, and I don't particularly like tipping either. It's a it's a it's a horrible way for the people you work for to kick off labor to the customer, and I can understand how that's unfair. But at the same time, it is what it is, and I think. As a decent human being in the United States, if you're ordering for food on delivery, you should damn well tip. And you should damn well tip good. Unless the person does awful. You know, if it's if it's an hour late, if the order's fucked up, you know, that may not even be the driver's fault. But, you know, if you want to take it out on the driver, at least we as the driver can kind of understand that and we see how you got there. But if you're just going to be a dick just to be a dick, go get your own damn food. It's hot as hell, and somebody like me might snap and just bury you in your own backyard. Oh my god. So yeah, Demetria is definitely our douchebag of the week. I hate her. And the other funny thing is, if you're gonna be a dick to the pizza driver, he knows where you live! You know, if he's gonna snap and take people out, you know, one of these days, police officer's gonna be like, Man, we don't seem to understand what's going on. We got all these murders all across the city at random. We can't find any connection. These people don't know each other. They don't hang out in the same circles. They don't go to the same doctor's offices, gyms, etc. We have no idea how they're connected. And then one of these days it's going to be like, Oh yeah, those are people who don't fucking tip their delivery driver and the pizza guy just lost his fucking mind and went and killed everybody. I don't know, is this really a crime? Uh, maybe he did the world a favor. So anyway... My hero of the week, I actually have two heroes of the week. One, the only Uber Eats customer this week to throw me a $5 tip, any tip, and it was five bucks. I love you, man. I'm not gonna say your name, fuck you up, but you was nice and I appreciate it. Second hero of the week was yesterday. Oh my God, dude, I was dying. For those of you guys who don't know, 
I take this to work with me in the day. This is a gallon of water. By the end of work, it is gone. So it was like a, uh, I think my, the highest temperature that my car said yesterday was 103, okay? That's just what my car thinks it is. Uh, the phone said it was 98 and the heat index was 110. So it was hot. And I'm a 300 plus pound fat man going up and down stairs all day, so it was bad. So anyways, I had a delivery to a lady in an apartment complex. She was on the third floor. It was like my 12th, third floor for the day. I was tired, I was cranky, it was about time to go home. I would just try not to have a heart attack and die. I'm climbing up the stairs and I, you know, on the third floor here in Texas, you go up one flight and then you go up and then up to the next flight. So I don't know why the third floor is broken into two flights, but it is. So anyways, I get to the second floor and turn around and my customer is coming down the second flight waiting for me. And she's like, no, baby, it was hot outside. I saw you coming and I just wanted to meet you down here so you didn't have to come all the way up. Hands me a $5 bill. I offer to take the stuff up all the way. She's like, no, baby, you hot, you go home. I'm like, all right. So Felicia, thank you so much. And what what is that meme around Felicia? Is like is it like bye Felicia or whatever? Anyways, Felicia was amazing. So douchebag of the week's Demetria. The the amazing girl of the week or customer of the week is uh, Felicia and uh, the the Uber Eats customer whose whose name I don't know because the app abbreviates it. So, but either way, he was awesome. Um, we are going to get back to doing some YouTube content, but keep in mind it's going to mainly be guides because that's what that seems to be what people like to watch. Um, you're going to get some vlogs like these probably a couple more times a week. This week's been particularly busy, so you're only getting one. Um, and then we're going to get back to streaming on my off days. Um, this week I'm going to try and stream all three of my days off and maybe a couple of the other ones. It just kind of depends. So... Uh, but yeah, you know, like I said, if you want to try out Uber, you want to try out Lyft, you want to help me out at the same time, there's going to be two affiliate links in the video description down below. I would appreciate it if you used it. Let me know how it works out for you. I would love to know if any of you guys are doing Uber Eats in your markets, how it's working out for you and what your hourly is. Um, I am curious. I am curious. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. This is what's basically been going on in my week. You guys have a great one. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next clip.